energy. And good evening, everyone. Thanks so much for staying with us at 530. I'm Trishna Began. And I'm Solomon Syed. Governor Kathy Hochul confirming a public safety plan that outlines possible changes to New York's bail reform laws. News 10 ABC's Capitol correspondent Jamie DeLine telling us what the governor has in mind when it comes to public safety and helping those with mental illness. Governor Kathy Hochul says public safety is a top priority. While the governor's office is not releasing specific details of the 10-point public safety plan, reports say it includes new spending on mental health services. I was down the subway. We're working on our teams to help uh, people who are in subways find the mental health services that they perhaps need or uh, supportive housing. Also reported on the plan, expanding the use of involuntary commitment, which would apply to those who pose a danger to themselves because of self-neglect. Matthew Shapiro of the National Alliance on Mental Illness New York State says he's in favor of this proposed legislation. Obviously, when you're talking about involuntary commitment, that's a very difficult subject, and uh, we want to be very sensitive of that, but the governor is definitely taking a very proactive stance to help the most vulnerable people impacted by mental illness and, and those whose illnesses has led them to live on the street and be homeless and have a myriad of challenges. And we're very grateful to see the governor step up and try to adjust those challenges. The governor on Monday denying the plan was leaked from her office to the press. We've been working on this for a long time. You know, we've been trying to make progress behind the scenes, and it was presented as, a, uh, as our position to the leadership. And so it doesn't matter how it got out, but I assure you, that's not how I operate. With the budget deadline just nine days away, the governor says she will not negotiate in public and will continue to meet with those who have concerns and work to bring people together. Reporting in Albany, I'm Jamie DeLine. Thanks, Jamie. Now, one of the candidates.